Tales from the Crypt. The Vault of Horror? <laughs> now it's time for a jaunt into the Vault of Horror, creeps. This is your Vault Keeper, ready to relate this blood-curdling tale from my collection. So, come in, sit down on that blood-stained hotel room rug, and I'll tell you how it got that way. I call this sickening sojourn into the screaming semi-darkness of sordidness. This trick will kill you. Herbert Martini moved through the milling Calcutta crowd, mopping his perspiration-bathed face. The blazing Indian sun was directly overhead. The heat was unbearable. Herbert cursed. Why I ever came to this disease-infested hellhole? I'll never know. I haven't found one new illusion since I've been here. Indian fakers? Bah! Lucky thing I left Inez at the hotel. She'd pass out in this heat. The great Marquini, famous in the United States for his astounding feats of match, pushed his way through the dark-skinned throng, stopping for a few minutes to watch as each squatting Indian faker would perform his tricks and illusions. <laughs> The old cabbage in the ground illusion. All is the hills. Satisfied that there was nothing new to see, nothing he could add to his fabulous magic act, Herbert would move on from one faker to the next. Then, in a dark alley, off teeming Mark Place, he saw her, the dark haired, flashing eyed Indian. Hello, what's that? She was a faker shawl. I wonder what she has in that basket. Herbert moved down the litter-filled alley to where the Indian girl squatted before her oddly shaped basket. The crowd behind, out into the marketplace, seemed to fade from earshot. The girl looked up at Marquini and smiled. You? What? Trick? I do for Ruby. The coin tinkled to the cobblestones at the girl's bare feet. She picked it up, examined it, and lifting the lid off the basket, tossed the coin in. Herbert peered down. Inside the basket lay a coil of heavy rope. Old and frayed. You hear tale of Indian rope trick? Sure, I've heard tale of it, but that's all. Just talk. I don't believe that there is a such thing. The girl pulled a small reed instrument from the folds in her gown and put it to her lips. She took a deep breath and began to blow softly. The weird note trembled. The coil of rope in the basket stirred. What the? The single note continued. One end of the coil of rope stood up, swaying like an entranced cobra. Good lord! And as the girl's breath ran out and the note began to fade, the end of the rope began to rise higher and higher into the air. I don't believe it! When the last vibration ended, the rope stood upright at its full uncoiled length, 15, maybe 20 feet into the air. Astounding! The girl got to her feet and moved to the rope. As Herbert watched, horrified, she began to climb it. Good Lord! She pulled herself easily, hand over hand, till she reached the top. I'll buy it! I'll pay you anything! Anything! The dark-haired, flashing-eyed native girl slid to the ground once again and the rope collapsed into the basket. How much do you want for the trick? Name your price, girl! I cannot sell the rope. It was my mother's and her mother's and... Bah! Keep your rope. Tell me how it's done. Tell me the secret. I'll make my own. There is no secret, Saib. It is the rope. You cannot make one. It is impossible. The rope? What kind of nonsense is that? It's an ordinary rope. What's inside? A wire? What's under the basket? A trap door? Come on. I'll pay you 500 rupees. It is the rope itself, Saib. See? The girl lifted the basket. There was no trapdoor below, no hole out of which a pole could be extended. Nothing. You see, Saib, it is the rope, and the rope is not for sale. Impossible. There must be a trick to it. There must. That night, the great Marquini paced in his hotel room nervously. Finally, the door opened, and a woman entered. Inez, it's about time. Did you see her? Did you see the trick? I saw her, and I saw the trick. We knock him dead and it's with that one. Could you buy the secret from her, Inez? Did she tell you how she does it? I couldn't make headway anyway either. She gave me the same line she gave you. She said it was the rope and no gimmicks and she wouldn't sell the rope. I Inez, I want that trick. I got to know how she does it. Take it easy, Herb. She'll be here any minute. Be here? She's coming here? Yes. I accuse her of props. I dared her to show us the same thing here. She fell for it. Fell for it? What do you have in mind, Inez? Don't be naive, Herb. That trick is worth a fortune. We've got to have it. 
At all costs. Even murder. Inez, murder? Think of it, Herb. You in the center of that stage, blowing that weird little pipe, and me in a scant costume, climbing the rope. The trick that everyone said couldn't be done. You're right, Inez. If she won't tell us, we'll kill her for the secret. If she doesn't hear, the gimmick is inside the rope or in the basket. After we knock her off, we'll find out what it is. Shh, she's coming! There was a timid knock on the hotel room door. Herbert swung it open. Come in! Come in! Oh, I see you have the basket. You? You are the man I performed for this afternoon. Yes, my name is Marquini. In the United States, I'm a famous magician. This is my wife, Inez. Ah, the lady that invited me here. She said I would not be able to make the rope rise here. That's right, honey. I think you got some kind of a wire arrangement in that alley back there. I told you both. It is the rope. Nothing more. Watch. The girl placed the basket on the floor of the room. Then she took out the curious reed instrument and began to blow. The weird note filled the room. The rope began to rise. It's in the basket, huh? That given must be in there. Or in the rope. I'll get her. Suddenly, the weird sounding trembling note was cut short. The rope collapsed. Herbert's powerful fingers held the Indian girl's neck in a vice-like grip. Don't let scream her I I won't <laughs> soon the throttled native girl's body went limp and she slid to the floor she is she she's dead come on let's look at that rope the murderers rushed to the collapsed rope lying on the hotel room rug herb searched the, and examined it closely Inez picked up the basket the rope it's not hollow there's no why in it. it. It's. That's nothing in the basket. Nothing. Inez and Herbert stared at each other. No gimmick, no prop, but, but. We saw it start rising. It was working. Settled. Inez's glance fell to the strange looking reed instrument, was still clutched in the dead native girl's hand. The pipe, huh? Try the pipe. But, but what good will that do? Herb wrenched the flute like instrument from the corpse and put it to his lips. The weird note echoed through the room. Look, Herb, look! The frayed end of the rope began to rise. Keep blowing, Herb! Keep blowing! Higher and higher, the rope rose until it touched the ceiling of the room. Herb's breath again ran out as the note faded. The rope stood stiffly. She... she was a lion! It is the rope! There's something about it! We got a gold mine, Herb! A gold mine! Inez moved to the rope. She closed her hands around it and began to pull herself up. It holds me, Herb. I can climb it. We'll knock him dead, Inez. Just wait till we get back to the States. Well, Inez had reached the top of the rope. Suddenly, her face was contorted in pain. Her eyes bulged in her. Herb. Uh, <laughs> Herb and Mikey stared at the spot near the ceiling where Inez had been. She'd simply vanished. Her hysterical shriek came from very far away. Inez! Inez! Where are you? Set a wave of nausea swept over the great Marquini. Objects rained down from nowhere about him, falling to the Calcutta hotel room floor. Horrible objects, quivering pieces of Inez's body. Inez! Ah! The rope curled upward. The frayed end still in the basket whipped outward, wrapping around Herbert's neck. And slowly, steadily, the rope continued to rise. The complaints of neighbors brought the manager of the Calcutta Hotel to Herbert and Inez Marquini's room. He found the master magician hanging from a rope, swaying crazily. The rope ended at the ceiling. Apparently unattached. Good lord! <laughs> that wraps it up, kiddies. <laughs> Neatly knotted. <laughs> when they tried to cut poor Herbert down, the rope just collapsed, and he fell to the floor amid Inez's dismembered remains. <laughs> As for the Indian girl, they found no trace of her. What happened to her body? Next time you're in Calcutta, look for her in that alleyway. <laughs> She'll be there with her, her rope. Just be careful. Don't let her string you along. <laughs>
And now I'll turn you back to the crypt keeper. He's waiting with a what a fairy tale. Oh no. Bye.